So New Japan will run in the US and they will draw 2,500 people. ROH will draw 2,000 people, maybe 5,000 WrestleMania weekend. And you guys do all in and you draw 10,000. So we'll talk about all in in a 11, second. 11,236. Eleven thousand two hundred and thirty-six. Um, but like, there must come a point where you guys are going. Okay, so we're out there every day, and we're 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 Bullet Club for life. Not to steal another gimmick yeah. that was there before. But like, you guys are there the whole time. Like, you guys are living it the whole time. And when people think of Bullet Club, they just think of you, the Bucks, Marty Scurll, Hangman Page. Like, there's an elite group that they think of. Elite, not meaning to be. Pandering, but um, there was there just a point where you kind of went, well, we want to go and do our own thing. Like we've done enough to build this brand that we have helped. Now it's time for us, and I guess All In must have been a part of that because you guys do this show which way outsells anything else that ROH or New Japan have been able to do in America. So was there a point after that where you kind of went, maybe we've kind of paid our dues to that faction and we need to move on. It was it was more of just this kind of like magic. We talked about the punk picture and why things didn't work in that photo. And then like it literally just I have made very few fi- uh, friends in wrestling, but I made friends with these guys, even though we are polar opposites in what we like. I like a very traditional wrestling, conservative wrestling. Nick Jackson wants to set himself on fire. And, you know, <laughs> it's it. But it, the. The common thing is 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 pleasing that pleasing the audience, and they're they're so good with the, the people who support them, and they they make fans friends, they make fans family, and and that was shared amongst everybody in that five or six, and it just it was it was the moment I forget who said it. We were in Rio Goku, and the moment said, "Hey, we're just going to be just elite, and we're going to announce it on the Jericho cruise." It, nobody, there was no pushback. And there was no consideration for what someone else might think. No, it, it's one thing, it's okay to be respectful of who you work for, but you also have to be respectful of yourself. It's my body out there. I, I'm the one taking the bumps, and I'm the one delivering the performance. You can tell me if you didn't like the performance, but they're going to tell me if they liked the performance. And it was one of those moments to kind of take control, and we, we haven't received any pushback. You mentioned people think of like an elite group. There's this very funny moment on Jericho Cruise that I still don't know what to do about. We announced that we're the elite and we do the podcast and there's a whole deck of fans and it was nice. And we stand up and there was a fan behind us and he just goes, hey, hey. So is Chase Owens Bullet Club or elite? (laughs) And I like Chase, all right? But I don't. I don't know what to say. Like, I don't, I can't speak for everybody here. And I literally like, just, you couldn't even decipher what I said. Oh, no, 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 let's ask Kenny. <laughs> and Kenny is like legit, like walking down the steps. Like, and you could see, cause Kenny didn't answer him. The guy literally just goes, what the <laughs> like, <laughs> You could audibly hear him. So we still haven't figured it out, but. I'm going to well, find that guy. So, so you, but the thing is, you, you, know, you, come, you guys come up with All In. And Brandy, you, you said last night, which was interesting, you were maybe the only person in his life that was like, do this. He asked me after he tweeted that as soon as I saw that tweet to Dave, I was like, well, here comes a whole lot of work I'm not sure I want to do because this has to happen now. Um, and he says to me, Hey, do you think we can sell out a 10,000 seat arena? I go, tomorrow if we want to. But let's put some work in, though, and let's do it. I I've never have had any doubt. And I think this is because he's got so much of his dad's brain in his head that no matter how far-fetched something seems or how backwards it might be or how much it may not compute in my mind, I know that he's got the whole story thought out from start to finish and the passion behind it to make it great. So 
if he says tomorrow, hey, I want to, you know, do a show at the top of the Empire State Building, I'm probably not going to be super excited about it, but I'm going to be there because I know it's going to be awesome. <laughs> And um, so, I mean, I guess f this for for you, you know, you, you guys do all in, and it it sells out immediately, pretty much. Another um, thing that I called while everybody else was nervous, I said the site's gonna crash. Uh, I told my best friend who randomly, like five minutes before, said, "Hey, I I want to get tickets to this. What do I do?" I said, "Get on as many computers as you can." because it's gonna crash. <laughs> and she got tickets within the last five minutes, but she was like there five minutes early, had her husband on one and her mother, I think, on another one, and all just trying to get tickets. Poor, I knew it. Poor Hangman never got a ticket. He was in that virtual <laughs> waiting room. I never did either, I was in it too. And he was just, I don't know, Cody, I don't know. Uh, and then like 30 minute later ride, like, hey, did you get anything? Says virtual rating room. Like, you didn't get it, bud. It's, it's, it's okay. We, we weren't even buying it. We were just testing it out to see if it worked. Yeah, man. Hangman never got his ticket.